Windy day. Anyway, back to work. Okay, this is the part that uh, really stinks about making videos. I just made one. About five minutes long. Saying how I was going to rebuild this, but couldn't find the pieces. So I pulled this one out of the pile. Carried it in. And as soon as I got done with the video, I found the missing pieces. So this transmission came off this engine originally. The only difference is when I replaced that engine in that 27, the guy wanted the magneto. So I ended up pulling his flywheel off and fuel coil, putting it back in his car. But the rest of this is what came out of that engine in the first place. All the gears match. So I'm going to stick with this. I'm not going to start it today. I just don't feel like doing it. But I think I'm going to break this down into a few videos. <laughs> There's the parts. Hiding right in plain sight, as always. So, I think I'm going to make a few videos on this, piece by piece. And it's going to entail refurbishing and checking things like that for straightness. Making sure that the bushings are all the right clearance, which they appear to be. So you want just a little bit of wiggle. Not too tight. Too tight it'll go. And then it'll end up, instead of spinning on this surface here, it'll spin on the outside. And it just, it just tears it up and the, the gear goes all wonky. But I will get to that at a later date. So, if you want to be first on the list when the videos come out, I'm not sure when it's going to come out, but it'll be soonish. If you want to be first on the list, subscribe and like and all that. And uh, you'll get a notification. Oh, well, I guess you got to click the notification now, too. But I'll go through it. At some point, we're going to clean this up. I'll show you a couple ways maybe. Maybe one, maybe two ways of cleaning that up. Um, and get into a little more detail on this ring gear, which... Where is it? Appears that I had this one balanced before I put it on the shelf. And it looks like it might have a new ring gear on it. But... Everybody's going go nuts on, oh, oh, you got no splashers, but that's all you need. It's not really a big deal, it just moves the oil. In fact, I've seen cars built with just the teeth with, without these, and the teeth was enough to throw the oil up. So, alright, stay tuned if you're interested. If, yeah, if you guys are interested, I'll keep making videos, but if you're not, I'm going to quit, because this is kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, I've just done this one twice. And uh, I'm not getting any work done. So let me know uh, if you want to put a comment down below. Keep going or get stuffed, whatever. Until uh, next time.